All right, thank you very much. For everyone who's seated, uh, two quick housekeeping announcements. Uh, one, just a reminder, please no flash photography during the match. And the second announcement, uh, please no video recording uh, or audio recording during the match. Thank you very much. With that, I'd like to welcome you to the semifinals of the High School National Science Bowl. At this time, I'd like to welcome the two teams onto the stage, starting first with the A-side, Montgomery Blair from Silver Spring, Maryland. Montgomery Blair, please come on stage. And their opponents in this match, coming from Portland, Oregon, Sunset. Could we please have Sunset High School come on stage? Team settled in. All right, so the uh, welcome to the semifinals of the High School National Science Bowl. Um, congratulations to both teams for making it this far. Um, our officiating team has remained the same from the last round, so we won't introduce ourselves. And we'll simply get down to have you guys introduce yourselves to us. Um, so we'll start at A3, work our way across. Why don't you buzz in, wait to be recognized, tell us your name, your year in school, um, where you are going or intending to go to college, and what you'd like to major in. A3. Sam Zbarski. I'm a sophomore. I'm not sure where I'm going, but I'm planning to major in underwater basket weaving. Awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm Alex Breezy. I'm a senior. I'm going to UC Berkeley, and I plan to major in nucleophilic substitution. <laughs> it's a very specific part of chemistry. A captain. Hi, I'm Andrew Desarma. I'm a senior. I'll be going to Harvard next year, and I plan to major in marine biology. Excellent. A1. Hi, I'm Dimakran Allegrin. Um, I don't know where I'm going. I'm a sophomore, and I plan to m major in cosmetology. Are you getting that? Let's go, Souls. You won. Yushu Wayne, senior. I'm going to Stanford in the fall, and I want to major in math and philosophy. Excellent. Thank you. Be captain. Rahul Dalal, I'm a senior. Um, I'm going to Harvard, and I'm probably going to major in math or physics. Thank you. B2. B2. Ryan Choi, um, senior, University of Southern California, chemical engineering, computer engineering, and philosophy. All three. <laughs> Excellent. B3. Um, I'm Vivek Raman. I'm a senior. I'm going to the University of Texas at Dallas this fall, and I will be majoring in computer science and electrical engineering. All right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Again, a reminder to both teams, when giving your answer, please speak into the microphone, but you don't need to be right up against this. We don't get too much feedback. Do you have any questions before we get started? Well, then good luck to both teams, and without further ado, this is the semifinals double elimination round number seven. Question one is a toss up in Earth and space, short answer. Contact metamorphism is typically characterized by what type of pressure and temperature, respectively? B, Captain. Low pressure, high temperature. That is correct. And the, your bonus is a visual bonus question. It's an Earth and space, short answer. Answer the following three questions about this image. A, Given that all the rocks in this image are sedimentary, what are the three major processes that occurred to create this cross-section? B, what kind of forces produce the fold shown in the image? C, what kind of stratigraphic boundary exists between the folded beds and the overlying unaltered bed? Five seconds. Okay. 
Three processes, faulting, folding, and pressing. B, compressional forces. C, a discontinuity. Sorry, that is incorrect. A is deposition, folding, and erosion. B is compression, and C is unconformity. Toss at number two is in physics, multiple choice. A wire of fixed length and cross-section will carry an increased current density when which of the following conditions occurs? W, the temperature of the wire is increased. X, the potential difference between the two Interrupt ends. Interrupt B, Captain. X. Is correct. And your bonus in physics is a short answer. Name the two different phenomena for light and matter, respectively, that led to firm evidence of the particle nature of light and the wave nature of electrons, thus establishing wave-particle duality for light and matter. So, Compton effect and the Broglie wavelength? Sorry, that's incorrect. For light, it's the photoelectric effect, and for matter, it's electron diffraction. Toss at number three is an Earth and space multiple choice. Which of the following is true about the small crustal magnetic fields of Mars? W, they protect the areas near them from space weathering. X, they merge to create a very weak global magnetic field. Y, they only cover the polar caps. Z, they only cover craters. A1. X. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. B, Captain. Y. I'm sorry, it's W. They protect them from space weathering. Toss-up number four is in energy and it is multiple choice. Which of the following best describes where plasma forms when a high-powered laser beam strikes a solid target? W, in front of the target. X, in the middle of the target. Y, in back of the target. Z, at the boundary between the beam and the target. A, Captain. Z. Is correct. And your bonus question is visual, in energy, short answer. As indicated in the diagram, two blocks of mass weighing one kilogram each sit on a frictionless table. They are attached to each other and to a pair of walls by springs with a spring constant K of three newtons per meter. Answer the following two questions about the image. A, how many normal modes are there? B, in terms of pi and in hertz, what is the frequency of the highest mode? Five seconds. Four and two root three pi. Sorry, it's two and three pi over two. Toss-up number five is in biology and it is a short answer. What is the name of the amino acid derivative synthesized from glutamate, which is also the chief inhibitory neurotransmitter in the mammalian... Interrupt, A2. Gamma amino butyric acid. That is correct. Bonus biology short answer. During native agrose gel electrophoresis, using a native buffer with a pH of 8.6 and a 1% agrose gel, four proteins having the follow isoelectric points are electrophoresed, 3.2, 4.8, 7.2, and 10.2. Which protein will reach the positive electrode first? Five seconds. 10.2. I'm sorry, it's 3.2. Toss up number six is in math and in the short answer. Find all the values of k for which the function y of x equals e to the kx is a solution to the differential equation y double prime minus 8y prime plus 15y equals zero. Uh, A3. Terium 5. Is correct. And your math bonus is visual. Short answer. The black curve is the graph of y equals e to the x, and the red curve is the graph of the second order approximation to e to the x at x equals 1, based on the Taylor series. What is the equation for the red curve in standard polynomial form? So they want the they want second order, right? Yeah, which one? So is it, they want two. Is it over two or over two? 
No, it's like this. Yeah. But do they want this term? This they want like standard this? pi or so I guess okay. it's descending. Okay, okay. 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 Universe. X squared over 2 plus X plus 1. I'm sorry, it's y equals e over 2 times x squared plus e over 2. Toss up 7 is in biology, and it is a short answer. In what phylum of organisms would you find the simplest animals with three Interrupt, be captain. Peripheral? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. I'll repeat for team A. Toss up biology, short answer. In what phylum of organisms would you find the simplest animals with three distinct germ layers? A2. Nidaria. I'm sorry, it's Platyhelminthes. Oh. Toss-up number eight is an energy short answer. What is the name for the regions of a plasma discharge tube that exhibit period variations of electron density? A captain. Eddy region. Sorry, that is incorrect. Time. B captain. Exo region, meso region, and endo region. Sorry, the correct answer is Langmuir waves. Toss up number nine in physics and it is multiple choice. Which of the following is not comprised of quarks? W, meson. X, muon. Y. I interrupt B, Captain. X. Is correct. And your bonus is visual in physics. Short answer. Stop the clock, please. All right, please start the clock again. Visual bonus, physics, short answer. A positively charged ion enters the maze depicted in the image at the point marked start. If the ion follows the path noted by the red line, what is the direction of the magnetic field in squares A, B, C, and D, respectively? Um, it's A2. Out, A2, out, A2, out, 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 Are you sure? So it's possible. Yeah, into, yeah, in, out, out, out. Yes, yes, okay. A, into the page, B, out of the page, C, out of the page, D, out of the page. That is correct. Toss up number 10 is in biology, short answer. What is the name of the secure seed bank located in Norway which preserves a wide variety of plant seeds in an underground cavern, providing insurance against the loss of seeds in seed collections, and is a refuge for seeds in the case of a large-scale crisis. B2. Doomsday Vault. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Doomsday Vault. That is correct. And your bonus in biology is short answer. What is the term for a non-membrane-bound organelle that usually functions to help fix carbon or store starch and is found within the chloroplasts of algae and hornworts. Five seconds. Okay. Fixation vacuole. Sorry, it's the pyranoid. Reminder, please speak at the microphone so I can hear your answer, both teams. Toss-up number 11 is in math, multiple choice. Your company may introduce an expensive new product. You are planning to survey consumers on how much they would be willing to pay for it. With a sample size of 300, you estimate that the maximum error of the estimate will be $57 at the 95% confidence level. You want a smaller error of the estimate, namely $19, still at 95% confidence. Interrupt, A3. 2,700. Is correct. And your bonus in math is short answer. Solve the equation 2 sine squared of x minus 3 cosine of x minus 3 equals 0 on the closed interval 0 to 2 pi. Five seconds. Time. Sorry, the correct answer was pi, two pi over three, four pi over three. Okay. Toss up number 12 is in chemistry and it is short answer. For a solution of ethanol and hexane, what kind of deviation from Raoult's law would be expected? A captain. Positive. Is correct. 
Your bonus question in chemistry is visual and short answer. For each of A, B, C, and D represented in the image, identify the primary intermolecular force acting between the molecules. Five seconds. London. Sorry, that's incorrect. Correct answer is A, London dispersion, B, dipole dipole, C, hydrogen bonding, D, ion dipole. Toss up 13 is in Earth and space, multiple choice. Which of the following observations would be the best indicator that the continental crust had been uplifted? W, new wave cut platforms found below sea level. X, new faulting of the tops of mountains. Y, ancient faulting of the tops of mountains. Z, ancient wave cut platforms found as terraces at high elevation. Interrupt B, Captain. Z is correct. And your bonus in Earth and space is visual, short answer. Answer the following two questions about this image. A, given that the oldest rocks in this image are along the central ridge, what is this geologic feature? B, where would you expect to find the continuation of the rock layer that comprises this ridge? Five seconds. Um, convergent boundary and underground. I'm sorry, it's a plunging anticline, and it is found below the surface. That is the half. <laughs> we will now take a two-minute break. Scorekeeper, the score at the half is? <laughs> Montgomery Blair is 24 points, and Sunset High School is 30 points. Thank you. Two-minute break. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We need to cut some I got those things I can't I said And I said for the I can even listen to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, okay, that's okay. That's okay. We're comfortable I'm not sure how many more people are to get I think it's better. this Everyone, please take your seats. We're going to get started with the second half of the match.
Could everyone please take your seats? All right, uh, just one reminder, please. Uh, during the match, please do not confer with your teammates or say anything out loud while the teams up here are competing. Um, I know you're interested and I know you're excited, but we really don't want to distract the teams on the stage um, during the match. Thank you very much. Do we have any substitutions at halftime? No. Doesn't look like it. Everyone's good where they are? All right, well then, let's continue with the second half of our semifinal match. We've gone through 13 questions at the half. We'll pick up with question number 14. It's a toss-up in chemistry and it is short answer. What is the molecular geometry of sulfur tetrafluoride? B1. Tetrahedral? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. A2. Square planar. Sorry, that's also incorrect. Correct answer is seesaw. <laughs> Toss of 15 is in biology and it is multiple choice. Comparing the kidneys of two different mice with bodies of equal size, which of the following kidney tubules would be longer in a desert dwelling kangaroo mouse compared to a field mouse typically found in temperate forests of North America? W, proximal convoluted tubule. X. Interrupt, B1. Loop of Henley. Is correct. And your bonus is visual, in biology, short answer. Answer the following three questions about this image. A, identify the genus of the organisms in the picture. B, who was the first person to identify this organism? And C, name the internal support structure found in this organism. Okay. If we don't get it by like two seconds, okay. Five seconds. A, shutter cheese, B, passion fruit, C, black walnut. So close, so close. It's actually Giardia, Van Leeuwen Hook, and Axel style. But I like your answer as well. <laughs> Toss up 16, chemistry multiple choice. Which of the following statements is correct about the rate constant of a reaction? W, it increases as the activation energy increases. X, it increases as the frequency factor increases. Y, it increases as the temperature decreases. Interrupt B1. Z. So that is incorrect. I'll repeat for team A. Toss up, chemistry multiple choice. Which of the following statements is correct about the rate constant of a reaction? W, it increases as the activation energy increases. X, it increases as the frequency factor increases. Y, it increases as the temperature decreases. Z, it increases when a catalyst is added. A, Captain. X. Is correct. And your bonus in chemistry is short answer. The pKa of an acid is 5. The concentrations of the acid and its conjugate base in a buffer solution are 1 times 10 to the negative 2 moles per liter and 1 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter, respectively. What is the pH of the buffer? Five seconds. Four. Four is correct. Toss up 17 is in math, short answer. If f of x equals the square root of g of x, where g of 1 equals 9 and g prime of 1 equals negative 6, find f prime of 1. Time. Sorry, the correct answer was negative 1. Toss up 18, physics, multiple choice. Which of the following best describes when Bremsstrahlung radiation is emitted? W, when an element changes into another element during transmutation reactions. X, when a nucleus absorbs a neutron and goes into an excited state. Y, when charged particles are accelerated while moving in a medium. Z, when charged particles travel at the speed of light. Near Interrupt A, Captain. Y. Is correct. And your bonus in physics is short answer. A layer of the solvent toluene is floating on water in a glass container. A ray of light passing through the water is incident upon the toluene layer at an angle of 60 degrees. The angle of the refracted beam in the toluene is 45 degrees. 
given that the refractive index of water is 1.33, and providing your answer as a decimal to the nearest hundredth, calculate, calculate toluene's index of refraction. Five seconds. 2.45. No. I'm sorry, it's 1.63. Toss up 19 is in biology, and it is short answer. The reduction of friction between the parietal and the visceral surfaces of an internal cavity is a function of what type of fluid? A2. Serous fluid. That is correct. And your bonus in biology is short answer. By name or number, identify all of the following five choices that are characteristic of at least some tunicates. One, free swimming larvae. Two, notochord. Three, pharyngeal slits. Four, pelagic adults. Five, spicules. Five seconds. One, two, three. Sorry, it's actually all of them. Toss up 20s in chemistry, multiple choice. Mixing which of the following pairs of aqueous compounds will produce a precipitation reaction? W, HNO3 and SROH2. X, NaOH and KBr. Y, Na2SO4 and BaOH2. Interrupt A, Captain. Y. Is correct. And your chemistry bonus question is short answer. A beam of particles is passed between a positively charged and a negatively charged plate. The beam splits into three parts while passing between the plates. Beam A is slightly deflected toward the negatively charged plate. Beam B is strongly deflected toward the positively charged plate. And beam C is undeflected. By number, identify all the following three conclusions that are correct. One, particles in beam A are positively charged. Two, B particles are more massive than A particles. Three, C particles are negatively charged. Five seconds. One only. That is correct. Toss up 21 in physics and it is multiple choice. A 20 meter tall open rainwater collection tank is filled to the top with water when it develops a small, link, small leak in the side four meters above the ground. Given 9.8 meters per second squared as G, what is the approximate speed in meters per second of the water as it leaves the tank? W Interrupt A, Captain. 20. Sorry, that's incorrect. I'll repeat the question for team B. Toss up physics multiple choice. A 20 meter tall open rainwater collection tank is filled to the top with water when it develops a small leak in the side four meters above the ground. Given 9.8 meters per second squared as G, what is the approximate speed in meters per second of the water as it leaves the tank? W, 12. X, 14. Y, 16. Z, 18. B, 1. Y. I'm sorry, it's Z, 18. Toss up number 22 is in Earth and Space, short answer. What is the Drake equation used to estimate? A1. Probability of life. On. Sorry, that is incorrect. Uh, B, Captain. Probability of intelligent life on other planets. I'm sorry, it's the number of communicating extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way. Toss up 23 is in physics, multiple choice. Which of the following is true about a single slit diffraction pattern? W, it can be produced only if the slit width is exactly one wavelength. X, it can, it can be produced only if the slit width is less than one wavelength. Y, it has a relatively strong central maximum. Interrupt B, Captain. Y is correct. And your physics bonus question is short answer. The focal length of a concave mirror is 120 centimeters. An object with a height of 8 centimeters is placed 60 centimeters away from the mirror. What is the location and height, respectively, of the image in centimeters. One over sixty plus. One over one over one twenty. So it's one twenty meters away, right? And it's 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 twice the height, and it's one twenty centimeters away and sixteen centimeters away. Yes. Okay.
Five seconds. 120 centimeters away, 16 meters tall. Is correct. Next toss up is number 24, energy short answer. What is the name of a type of circuit used to derive two phase current from a three phase source or vice versa, evenly distributing a balanced load between the phases of the source? A, uh, B2. Triangular? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. A captain. Diode bridge. Sorry, it's a Scott T transformer. Last question, toss up math short answer. Evaluate log base 2 of 25 times log base 25 of 16. A3, 4. Is correct. And your bonus in math is short answer. Given the 2 by 2 matrix, first row 2, negative 4, second row, negative 1, negative 1, what are its eigenvalues? <laughs> Five seconds. One and three. Sorry, it's three and negative two. Okay, what the big deal? <laughs> and that's the match. Final score, Montgomery Blair, 68, Sunset High School, 52. Let's have a hand for Sunset, our third place team, and for Montgomery Blair, who will be continuing on to the finals. Please stay in your seats as we call the teams up for the finals. All right, if everyone can take their seats, we'll get started pretty pretty quickly here. Okay, and now it's time for the uh, what could be the last match of the high school National Science Bowl this year. Uh, which will be the team, uh, between the team that just won, Montgomery Blair, and the team that proceeded through yesterday's matches with no losses, Mira Loma from Sacramento, California. So, Mira Loma, would you please uh, take your seats? Mira Loma, California from Sacramento, Mira Loma High School from Sacramento, California. And Montgomery Blair from just up the road in Silver Spring, Maryland. Would you please come back to this stage? Good luck, Max. Good luck, Max. As before, the uh, science judge will be recognizing you. So uh, that's that's Adam this time, and uh, I will be uh, I'll be reading the questions. Do you have a question? Yeah. How are we supposed to know that if we got the, the light. like the, the buzz? Light. The light. Oh. Okay. There's a light that will turn right here. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, we will do the buzzer check so you can get a little bit of experience with your buzzers. Um, and uh, uh, go ahead and buzz in just as before, and you can tell us uh, what your year in high school is and uh, where you're planning to be in the fall and, and what you're planning to study there if you're, if you're graduating now. A3. My name is Anish Kare, and I'm a senior. I'll be attending UC Berkeley, and I'm planning to study mechanical engineering. Thank you. A2. My name is Russ Islam. Um, I'm a senior. I will be attending Stanford with a double major in biology and economics. Excellent. A captain. My name is Andrew Chen. I'm a senior. I'll be going to MIT and studying bioengineering. Thank you. A1. Yeah, I'm Suram Pandyala. I'll be going to Harvard, and I'll be studying um, chemistry and econ. Thank you. B1. Uh, I'm Devakar Nanagun, and I still don't know what I'm going to do, so I'm still going to be studying cosmetology somewhere. Wow. You're consistent. <laughs> B captain. I'm still Dasarma. I'm still going to Harvard. I'm still studying marine biology. Excellent. B2. I'm Breezy. I'm going to UC Berkeley, and I've decided to change my major to electrophilic substitution. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big change. <laughs> B3. I'm Zvarsky. I'm still a sophomore. I still know where I'm going, and I'm still doing underwire basket weaving. Excellent. Okay, I will again ask the audience to be, uh, to be quiet during the match, and at that, I think we're ready to go. So, round, uh, double elimination round eight. Toss-up question number one is in math. Short answer. Shut up. Yes, shut up. <laughs> a researcher suspects that color blindness is inherited by a sex-linked gene. This possibility is examined by looking for a relationship between gender and color vision. The researcher tests a sample of 1,000 people for color blindness, then classifies them according to their gender and color vision status as normal, red-green blind, or other color blindness. Assuming that the researcher will perform a chi-squared test of independence... Interrupt. Be captain. Two. That's correct. Two degrees of freedom. Your visual bonus is in math. Short answer. The figure shows complex numbers represented by points plotted in the complex plane. For the complex number labeled x, name the point closest to its additive inverse and the point closest to its multiplicative inverse, respectively. P and F. That is correct. Toss-up question two is in chemistry, multiple choice. When silicon is doped with boron, which of the following is formed? W, PN junction. Interrupt. A1. P-type semiconductor. That is correct. Bonus question. In chemistry, short answer. By number, identify all of the following five sulfates that are insoluble. One, CaSO4. Two, Cu2SO4. Three, FeSO4. Four, HG2SO4. Five, A2SO4. Three. I'm sorry. Five is Al2SO4. Three. Three, five is soluble. Four is insoluble. Three is soluble. Five seconds. One, two, and four. No, just one and four. Toss-up question three. Earth and space, short answer. What is the name of the ratio of sensible heat flux to latent heat flux? A, Captain. Adiabatic cooling rate. That is incorrect. B, Captain. Adiabatic chill rate. It is the Bowen ratio. Toss-up question four, chemistry, multiple choice. Helium can be singly ionized by losing one electron to become the He plus cation. Which of the following statements is true regarding the line spectrum of this helium cation? W, it will resemble the line spectrum of a hydrogen atom. X, it will resemble the line spectrum of an Li plus cation. Interrupt, A1. W. W is correct. You have a visual bonus question in chemistry, short answer. 
Answer the following three questions about this image. A. Based on the equivalence point, which of the graphs represents the, the titration of a strong base with a strong acid? B. Which graph could represent the titration of hydrosulfuric acid? C. In which graph is the analyte the weakest acid? A is 2, B is 4, C is 3. That is correct. Toss-up 5, biology, multiple choice. A cell has 120 molecules of DNA and enters the G2 cell cycle. Which of the following does not accurately describe a stage in this cell as it undergoes a meiotic cell cycle? W, there will be two cells with 30 chromosomes each in metaphase 2. X, there will be two cells with 60 molecules of DNA each in prophase 2. Y, there will be one cell with 60 chromosomes in prophase 1. Z, there will be two cells with 60 chromosomes each after cytokinesis 1. A2. Y? That's not correct. B2. W? The correct answer is Z. Class of question 6, chemistry, multiple choice. Which of the following isoelectronic ions has the smallest diameter? W, O2 minus, X, Na plus, Y, F minus, Z, Al3 plus. Interrupt B3. Z. Z, Al3 plus is correct. Your bonus question is in chemistry short answer. Two cells, one containing aqueous silver nitrate and the other containing copper 2 sulfate, are hooked up in series to a battery. In a given electrolysis that results in depositing 1.25 grams of silver in the first cell, providing your answer to the nearest hundredth, how much copper in grams should deposit simultaneously in the second cell? Five seconds. Time. Six. It's too late. The answer is 0 0.37. Toss up question seven. Short answer. Uh, math short answer. By name or number, identify all of the following three statements that are true about the sequence minus one to the n as n goes to infinity. One, it is monotonic. Two, it converges. Three, it is bounded. B3. Three. That is correct. Your bonus question is in math. Short answer. The position of a particle moving along the x-axis at time t is given by x of t equals sine squared of 4 pi t. Identify all of the following four values of t at which the particle will change direction. 1 eighth, 1 sixth, 1, and 2. Five seconds. One, three, four. Um, yes, the, 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 the first, the that third, and the correct. fourth, that's, yeah. Uh, toss of question eight, physics, multiple choice. According to the theory of relativity, a passenger on the spaceship, on a, pa a passenger on a spaceship that is traveling near the speed of light would observe which of the following about the length of the spaceship. W, it was getting shorter. X, it was getting longer. Why? It was fluctuating between longer and shorter. Interrupt. B3. Z. Z had remained the same. That's correct. Your visual bonus is in physics. Short answer. Answer the following two questions about this diagram. A. What are these kinds of diagrams called? B. Match the numbers of the following descriptions with images J, K, and L, respectively. One. The electron emits the photon and then travels back in time to absorb the photon. 2. The photon is absorbed, then emitted. 3. The photon is emitted before it is absorbed.
Five seconds. Feynman diagram, L, J, K. That is correct. Toss-up question nine, biology, short answer. What is the most diverse phylum of bacteria on the planet, including Helico Helicobacter pylori and the causative agent of Rocky Mountain spotted fever, representing the majority of known gram-negative bacteria of medical, industrial, and agricultural significance? A hey, captain. Proteobacteria. That's correct. Bonus question nine in biology, short answer. By name or number, identify all of the following five plant genera that do not produce fruit. One, pinus. Two, betula. Three, equisetum. Four, lycopodium. Five, rosa. Okay, but that do not. Okay, I would say one. Okay, not five. Also five. Um, what are the other ones? Number two is betula. Five seconds. Two, three, and four. It is one, three, and four. Toss up question 10 chemistry, multiple choice. Which of the following molecules does not have a net dipole moment? W, water. X, ammonia. Y, boron trifluoride. Interrupt. A1. Y. Y, boron trifluoride is correct. Your visual bonus is in chemistry. Short answer. Answer the following three questions about this image. A. Based on the cell, which oxidation half reaction would you expect to take place? B. If the concentration of Fe2 plus at the cathode were decreased, what would happen to the voltage produced by the cell? C. If the iron electrode and solution were replaced by the standard hydrogen electrode, what would be the overall net ionic reaction for the new galvanic cell? No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Five seconds. A, magnesium solid becomes magnesium two plus aqueous plus two electron minus. B, decreases. C, Mg becomes Mg two minus plus six plus H uh, plus N. That's not correct. Uh, B was correct that it decreases. A, it's iron that goes to iron two plus plus two electrons. C is magnesium plus 2H plus yields magnesium 2 plus plus H2. Toss-up 11, physics, multiple choice. Which of the following best describes when, when Cherenkov radiation occurs? W, during spallation. X, during the process of fission. Y, when charged particles travel faster than... Interrupt, the A, Captain. Y, Y, when charged particles travel faster than the speed of light in a given medium. Your bonus question is in physics, short answer. The velocity of a particle with a charge of plus 4.0 times 10 to the minus 9 coulombs and mass of 2 times 10 to the minus 4 kilograms is perpendicular to a 0.1 Tesla magnetic field. Providing your answer as a decimal to the nearest hundredth, if the particle's speed is 3 times 10 to the 4 meters per second, what is the magnitude of the acceleration in meters per second squared of this particle due to the magnetic force. Acceleration. Yeah. All right, Q times V times V divided by M. You calculate Q times V, I calculate V over M. Actually, yeah. Five seconds. Magnitude 0.01. Six times 10 to minus 10. Uh, the answer is 0 0.06. And that is the half. Score at the half, please. Okay. Score at the half is Mira Loma, 30, Montgomery Blair, 46. We'll now take a two-minute break. No, okay, if in some media.
Okay, if people could please take their seats now. Thank you. Uh, were there any substitutions? No. <laughs> no? No substitutions. Uh, are you ready? All the judges are back in place and every all the students are back in place, so Let's begin again with uh, toss of question number 12, which is in Earth and Space. Short answer. What major event marks the boundary between the Proterozoic Eon and the Phanerozoic Eon? A Captain. Cambrian Explosion. Uh, that is correct. You have a visual bonus in Earth and Space. Short answer. Answer the following two questions about this image. A. What two physical features in this image indicate to you that this is an old river? B. What will the meander in the foreground become? A. Meanders and the low gradient, and B. Oxbow Lake. Yes, that's correct. Toss-up question 13, physics, short answer. Helium-2 is a form of liquid helium that occurs below 2.17 Kelvin and behaves as a super, a super liquid. An interesting property is that liquid helium in a container will seep up the sides of the container against gravity in a 30 nanometer film. What is the name for this film? A captain. Cryofilm. That's incorrect. B, Captain. 
Bose Einstein film? No good guesses, both, but it is Rollin. Uh, toss up question 14 energy, multiple choice. Which of the following statements is not true about magnetic reconnection? W. Magnetic field lines suddenly change their topology. X. Magnetic energy converts into thermal energy. Y. Macroscopic magnetic fields are generated. Z. Magnetic reconnection is thought to be the basic mechanism behind solar flares. A. Captain. Z. No, that's not correct. B. Captain. W. Now the correct answer is Y. Toss up 15, math, short answer. The scores for all high school seniors taking the verbal section of the SAT in a particular year had a mean of 490 and a standard deviation of 100. Given that SAT scores are only multiples of 10 and the distribution of SAT scores is normal, if the university only admits students who had among the highest 2.5% of scores on this test. A captain, interrupt. 690. That is correct. You've got a visual bonus now in math. Short answer. The figure shows quadrilateral A, B, C, D inscribed in a circle. What is the length of side B, C rounded to the nearest integer? One hundred and eighteen. The answer is eighty-seven. Toss of question sixteen. Earth and space. Short answer. What specific instrument aboard NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter produces five beams to illuminate the lunar surface in order to create the first ever comprehensive catalog of large craters on the moon? A one. Multi-beam sonar. That is not correct. B captain. Beam inferometer. It is the Lunar Orbiter Laser Altimeter. Uh, excuse me? Stop um, the clock, please. Uh, could, we, could you please speak louder? Um, it's a little bit difficult to hear. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll try and... Thank you. Um, thank you for letting me know. Okay. Toss-up 17, multiple choice. Physics, multiple choice. A light, rigid, insulating rod has two equally massive charge spheres on each end with charges of plus Q and minus 2Q. It is oriented vertically in space so that the negative charge is on top. Assuming that Q is positive, if an electric field with a magnitude of E directed to the right is applied to the rod, which of the following will the rod experience? W, a net force to the left with a clockwise rotation. X, a net force to the left with a counterclockwise rotation. Y? Interrupt. A, Captain. W. That is not correct. I will reread it for Team B. A light, rigid, insulating rod has two equally massive charged, par charged spheres on each end with charges of plus Q and minus 2Q. It is oriented vertically in space so that the negative charge is on top. Assuming that Q is positive, if an electric field with a magnitude of E directed to the right is applied to the rod, which of the following will the rod experience? W. A net force to the left with a clockwise rotation. X. A net force to the left with a counterclockwise rotation. Y. A net force to the right with a clockwise rotation. Z. A net force to the right with a counterclockwise rotation. B. Captain. X. X is correct. You have a visual bonus in physics. Short answer. Answer the following two questions about this image. A. What surrogate fusion target, temporarily replacing a deuterium-tritium fuel layer in order to test radiation drive symmetry, is portrayed in this image? B. What is the phrase for the specific process that Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory scientists are attempting in which powerful beams of laser light are focused on a small spherical pellet containing micrograms of deuterium and tritium, creating a self-sustaining confined burn?
Five seconds. Ballast and nuclear fusion. Uh, the answer is symmetry capsule, and B is inertial confinement fusion. Toss-up question 18, math, short answer. Given the graph of a fourth-degree polynomial function, what is the minimum number of ordered pairs on the graph needed in order to determine the coefficients of the polynomial? Interrupt B3. Five. That is correct. Your bonus question in math, short answer. For f of x equals natural log of x, order f of 2, f prime of 2, f double prime of 2, and f triple prime of 2, from smallest to largest. Five seconds. Three, four, two, one. That is correct. Toss up 19, energy, short answer. What is the name of the process for converting carbon monoxide and molecular hydrogen mixtures to liquid hydrocarbons? Interrupt, B captain. fischer trops process. That is correct. Your bonus question is in energy, short answer. By name or number, rank the specific energy densities of the following four fuels from least to greatest. One, biodiesel. Two, hydrogen. Three, methane. Four, ethanol. Five seconds. One, four, three, two. No, it is four, one, three, two. Toss-up question 20, biology, multiple choice. Which of the following is not a characteristic of severe combined immunodeficiency, also known as SCID? W, it is a genetic disorder of the immune system that occurs when the T lymphocyte system does not function properly. X, it is a genetic disorder of the immune system that occurs when the B lymphocyte system does not function properly. Y, ex vivo gene therapy can provide a short-term treatment Z, X-linked SCID, involves a JAK3 gene mutation. A2. X. That's not correct. B2. W. No, that's not correct either. The correct answer is Z. Toss-up question 21 is math, short answer. Providing your answer in simplest form, evaluate the expression X squared minus 4X plus 4 when x equals 2 plus the square root of 5. B3. 5. That is correct. Your bonus question is in math. Short answer. How many consecutive zeros occur at the end of 700 factorial? Five seconds. 174. That is correct. Toss of question 22, biology, multiple choice. Which of the following protozoan groups are entirely parasitic and produce tiny infectious spores? W, rhizopoda. X, apicom complexa, apicomplexa. Y, zoomastigophora. Z, celiophora. B2. X. X is correct. There's a visual bonus in biology short answer. Answer the following two questions about this image. A, which number indicates the location of the loop of Henle? B, which number indicates the position of the renal cortex? Five seconds. Thirteen, eleven. Actually, B is thirteen, A is one. Toss up question twenty three. Energy, short answer. In forensic detection, what element acts as a catalyst with luminol, permitting it to exhibit its luminescence? A captain. Iron? That's correct. 
you get a visual bonus in energy, short answer. The diagram shows the Balmer series in the hydrogen emission spectrum. Assuming that the ground state of hydrogen has an energy of about minus 14 electron volts to the nearest electron volt, what is the energy of photons in the labeled line? That's the second layer. Negative four. No, the correct answer is three. Toss up question 24, physics, multiple choice. A star collapses, leaving it with the same mass but a much smaller radius. Which of the statements below is true about the star? W, its moment of inertia remains constant, but its angular momentum has increased. X, its angular momentum remains constant, but its rotational kinetic energy- Interrupt, B1. X, that is not correct. I will reread for team A. A star collapses, leaving it with the same mass, but a much smaller radius. Which of the following statements is below is true about the star? W, its moment of inertia remains constant, but its angular momentum has increased. X, its angular momentum remains constant, but its rotational kinetic energy has decreased. Y, its angular momentum remains constant, but its rotational kinetic energy has increased. Z, its moment of inertia has decreased, but its angular momentum has increased. A, Captain. Why? Why is correct. Your bonus question is in physics, short answer. A spaceship with a proper length of 300 meters passes an observer at a relative speed of 0.7 C. What is the length of the spaceship to the nearest 10 meters when measured by the observer? Five seconds. 210. That is correct. And that, that is the map. The final score of the game is Mira Loma 70, Montgomery Blair 90. Since each of these teams has lost one match, they will need to play one more time to determine which team is your champion. So we'll be back in a few minutes.
if we could begin to move to our seats. Could everyone please take your seats? And can we please have uh, the two teams, Mira Loma and Montgomery Blair, back on stage, please? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. If everyone is settled, um, just a reminder: please no speaking um, to your teammates or to yourself or making motions during the match. We don't want to distract the competitors on stage, please. And without further ado, this is the finals. Winner take all, round nine. Both teams have one loss, so the winner of this will be our champion, high school champion. And the second place team um, will, will follow. Do we have any questions from the competitors on the stage? Let's test the buzzers once more just to make sure they're still functional after the break. Um, we'll start at the left side. We'll go across to the right. Please give us once again your name, your year in school, and what you'd like to be when you grow up. A3. A3. Uh, A3. My name is Anish. I'm a senior. I would like to be an aerospace engineer. Thank you. A2. My name is Russ. I'm a senior. I want to be the president. Wow. Aim high. A captain. My name is Andrew. I'm a senior. I have no idea. Okay. A1. My name is Shuram, I'm a senior, and I'm not sure yet either. Okay. B1. My name is Devakar Nagaman, and I'm going to be a science school question writer. Will, you know, could you please speak <laughs> in the microphone, though, just you're a little loud. I had a hard time hearing you, man. Thank, Thank you. B Captain. My name is Tasarma. I'm a senior. I will be a marine biologist. B2. I'm Breezy. I'm a senior. I want to be a substitutionist. <laughs> B3. Electrophilic or nucleophilic? Because you've gone back and forth. But. Um, perhaps I double major. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Varsky. I'm a sophomore, and I don't know why I want to be this. <laughs> All right. Seems like the buzzers are working. Seems like the teams are ready to go. Do we have any questions? Well, the moment you've all been waiting for, this is the last round, the finals of the high school National Science Bowl, round nine. Toss up question number one is in physics, and it is short answer. By name or number, identify which of the following three elements is the lightest in which spontaneous alpha decay of at least one of its isotopes has been observed. One, helium. Two, tellurium. Three, nickel. A, Captain. Nickel. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Uh, B, Captain. Tellurium. Is correct. And your bonus in physics is short answer. You spin a 4.5 kilogram bicycle wheel of diameter 0.8 meters by applying a 24 Newton force tangentially. Given that the wheel is a thin walled hollow cylinder and providing your answer to the nearest tenth, what is the angular acceleration in radians per second squared of the wheel? Five seconds. 13.3. Just in the nick of time, that is correct. Toss up two, Earth and Space, short answer. What is the name of the solar telescope now in the design phase, which will Interrupt, be, be Captain. James Webb Space Telescope. Sorry, that is incorrect. I'll repeat the question for Team A. Toss up, Earth and Space, short answer. What is the name of the solar telescope now in design phase, which will be able to provide the sharpest details ever taken of the solar surface and will be used to study magnetic phenomena in the solar atmosphere? A Captain, Soho. Sorry, it's the ATST. Toss of threes in physics, and it is short answer. What is the baryon number of all quarks? B Captain. One third. Is correct. And your bonus is visual, in physics, short answer. Answer the following two questions about this image. A, what kinds of semiconductor nanoparticles are contained in these vials? 
B, what color are the largest nanoparticles contained in these vials? Five seconds. Holes, red. Sorry, it's quantum dots in orange. Toss up four, energy, short answer. What are the toroidal optical traps into which helical modes of light can be focused, thus becoming capable of localizing and applying torque to small volumes of matter? B, Captain. Tokamak. Sorry, that's incorrect. A, Captain. Synchrotron. I'm sorry, it's optical vortices. Toss of five is in math, short answer. In ANOVA, what is the expected value for the F ratio when the null hypothesis is true? B, Captain. Zero. Sorry, that's incorrect. A, two. One. One is correct. Your bonus in math is short answer. And visual. Answer the following three questions about the image. A, which of the following four values most accurately describes the correlation of the data in this figure? Negative 1, 1, negative 0 0.7, or 0 0.7. Okay. B, if a point at negative 4, comma, negative 4 were added to the plot, would the correlation be closer to 0, further from 0, or unchanged? C, which of the following four percentages most accurately describes the percent of the variation in Y that can be explained by the variation in X? 35%. 49%, 70%, or 85%? A, negative 0 0.7, B, closer to 0, C, 70%. Sorry, you're very close. C is 49%. Toss up six, Earth and Space, short answer. What is the name of the instrument that directly measures the black carbon in individual aerosol particles using laser-induced particle incandescence and measuring particle optical size using light scattering? B, Captain. LIDAR. Sorry, that's incorrect. A, Captain. Laser trap. Sorry, it's the single particle soot photometer. Toss up seven, physics, multiple choice. Two charged particles, X and Y, are one meter apart. X has a charge of two coulombs, and Y has a charge of one coulomb. Which of the following is the ratio of the magnitude of the force of X on Y to the magnitude of the force of Y on X? The B3. Negative one. So that is incorrect. I'll repeat for team A, toss up, physics, multiple choice. Two charged particles, X and Y, are one meter apart. X has a charge of two coulombs, and Y has a charge of one coulomb. Which of the following is the ratio of the magnitude of the force of X on Y to the magnitude of the force of Y on X? W, four. X, two. Y, one. Z, one half. A, Captain. One. Is correct. And your visual, question, your visual bonus question is in physics, short answer. In the figure, points A and B are connected to positive and negative terminals of a battery. Calculate the equivalent resistance in ohms between point A and point B if resistance R is 1 ohm. That's just 3,000 parallels, so it's 6 and 7 and 4. So 1 6, 1 7, and 1 4 added together. That's one. Uh, the carbon divisor is. Uh, how do you use carbon divisor? It's at least 4 pounds. Uh, I'm just not going to say it's too difficult. I'm going to not say it's Okay, you're going to Five seconds. One divided by the quantity, one-sixth plus one-seventh plus one-fourth and quantity ohms. I'm sorry, the correct answer is two. <laughs> Toss-up number eight is an Earth and space multiple choice. Located in the constellation Virgo, the first quasar ever discovered had a redshift of 0 0.158. Which of the following corresponds to the redshift of the most distant known quasar first observed, first observed in 2007? W. 
0.111, X 3.37, Y 6.43, Z 8.91. A, Captain. Z. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. B1, X. I'm sorry, it's Y 6.43. Toss-up number nine is an energy multiple choice. Which of the following is not needed to build a transverse electrical discharge nitrogen laser that operates at atmospheric pressure? W, vacuum pump. X, capacitor. Y, electrode. Z, HV power supply. B, captain. Y. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. A, captain. Z. Sorry, it's W, vacuum pump. Toss-up number 10 is in biology short answer. The homeotic regulator gene, SCR, is expressed in the prothorax of insects, but not in the other two thoracic segments. What process does SCR suppress? B2. Growth of antenna. Sorry, that's incorrect. A2. Cephalization. I'm sorry, it's wing development. Toss of 11 is in math, short answer. What are the sum and product, respectively, of the roots of the polynomial equation 3x to the 5th, minus 7x to the 4th, plus 2x squared, minus 4x, plus 12, equals 0. Interrupt B3, 7 thirds and 4. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. I'll repeat for team A. Toss up, math, short answer. What are the sum and product, respectively, of the roots of the polynomial equation? 3x to the 5th, minus 7x to the 4th, plus 2x squared, minus 4x, plus 12, equals 0. A, Captain. The sum is 15 and the product is 36. Sorry, the sum is 7 thirds and the product is negative 4. Toss up 12, biology multiple choice. During non cyclic photophosphorylation, which of the following is the origin of the electrons passed to NAD, plus, NADP? Plus? W, carbon dioxide. X, interrupt A2. Water. Is correct. Your bonus is visual in biology, short answer. Answer the following three questions about this image. A, what is the family name of the organism depicted in the picture? B, when stressed or under attack, what property of its physical appearance can this organism change? C, by name or number, identify all of the following four typical fish characteristics or organs that these fish do not possess. One, caudal fin. Two, pelvic fin. Three, swim bladder. Four, otolith. Five seconds. One angler fish. Two color. Three one and four. Sorry, it's actually one A is molidae, B is color, and C is all of them. Toss up 13 is energy, short answer. In the carbon capture and storage process, pre combustion capture of carbon dioxide is applicable to what kind of coal based power plants? B captain. Syngas. Sorry, that's incorrect. A3. Fluidized bed converters. No, I'm sorry, it's the integrated gasification combined cycle. Toss up 14, physics, short answer. What is the term for a quantized mode of vibration occurring in a rigid crystal lattice such as the atomic? Interrupt A1. Phonon. Is correct. Your bonus in physics is short answer. Secretary Chu is going to ride his bicycle through a vertical loop. Good for him. Assuming that the loop is a circle with a radius of 20 meters, providing your answer to the nearest integer what is the minimum speed in meters per second that the secretary must maintain at the top of the loop to remain in contact with it? Five seconds. Fourteen. Is correct. Toss up 15 is in biology multiple choice. Which one of the following is not properly matched with its function? W, P53, causes G1 phase arrest. X, Taxol, arrest cells in M phase by blocking the mitotic spindle formation. Y, BRCA1, 
oncogene that when activated codes for overproduction of growth factors. Interrupt Z. A2. Z. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. I'll repeat for team B, toss up biology, multiple choice. Which one of the following is not properly matched with its function? W, P53 causes G1 phase arrest. X, Taxol, arrest cells in M phase by blocking the mitotic spindle formation. Y, BRCA1, oncogene that when activated codes for overproduction of growth factors. Z, G1S cyclin CDK, inactivates retinoblastoma protein at the G1 restriction checkpoint. B, Captain. Z. Sorry, Z is still wrong, it's Y. Oh. <laughs> and that is the half. Scorekeeper? The score is Miro Loma 38 and Montgomery Blair 22. We will now take a two minute break before the final half of the day. Could everyone please take your seats? We're going to continue with the final half of the day. Please take your seats. Everyone's in their seat. Um, do we have any substitutions at the half? No, sir. No. <laughs> Are you guys ready to go? Yes. yes. All right. Final 12 minutes for all the marbles. 
We've gone through 15 questions at the half. We resume with question number 16. It's a toss-up in math and addition or an answer. What is the name of the curve traced by a fixed point lying on the perimeter of a circle when the circle is rolling around another fixed circle of the same radius? Uh, A1. Cycloid. Sorry, that is incorrect. B, Captain. Epicycloid. I'm sorry, it's a cardioid. <laughs> toss-up 17. Chemistry, short answer. During the first step of a base-catalyzed aldol reaction, the base attacks a hydrogen atom of the alpha carbon bonded to a carboxyl group in order to create what functional? A1. Enolate. Is correct. Nice. Bonus chemistry, short answer. Given that K sub B equals 1.81 times 10 to the negative fifth, and providing your answer as a decimal to the nearest hundredth, what is the pH of a buffer solution consisting of 2.55 grams of ammonia and 13.37 grams of ammonium chloride in enough water to make 0 0.750 liters of solution? Give me a guess. Five seconds. Thirteen point thirty-seven. Sorry, it's nine point zero four. <laughs> Toss up eighteen is an Earth and space. Short answer. What are the two primary forms of sonar used in hydrographic surveying? A three. Sonar and so far. So that is incorrect. B captain. Ultrasound and ultra ultrasound. <laughs> Good guess. I'm sorry, the correct answer is side scan and multi beam. Toss up 19 is in chemistry, short answer. Five moles of an ideal gas occupy a one liter tank with an initial pressure of 15 kilopascals. A piston moves so that the tank changes volume and the final pressure is 5 kilopascals. Interrupt. B3. 3. Is correct. Visual bonus, chemistry, short answer. Answer the following two questions about the apparatus shown on the left. A, what is the common name of the experiment performed with this apparatus by the pictured scientist and his collaborator? B, what was measured in this experiment? Measure pressure, pressure or something, right? It looks very sealed. Five seconds. Freezing point of helium and freezing point of helium. <laughs> Sorry, this is the Millikan oil drop experiment oh. that measured the charge of the electron. Toss up number 20 is in biology, and it is short answer. Give the binomial name of the protozoan parasite that many people believe Darwin contracted from a redivied bite during his travels. A2. Giardia intestinalis. Sorry, that is incorrect. Time. It's Trypanosoma cruzi. Toss up 21 is in chemistry and it is multiple choice. Which of the following values best describes how many atoms are in 5.80 moles of neon? W, 4.02 times 10 to the 21st. X, 1.03 times 10 to the 23rd. Y, 6.0 interrupt. A, Captain. Z. Z is correct, 3.49 times 10 to the 24th. Bonus, chemistry, short answer. How many isomers exist for the molecule dibromocyclobutane? Dibromocyclobutane. Cyclobutane. Okay, so basically, it's just two, right? It's just this one. Okay, so cyclobutane like this, dibrom, either here, here, or here, here. What's the third one? What's the third one? Sure. Sure. Five seconds. Three. Sorry, there's actually five. Toss up number 22 is in math multiple choice. Which of the following must be true about a function that is both even and one to one? and has a domain that is a subset of the real numbers. W, its domain is all real numbers. X, its domain consists of only one number. Y, it must be odd. Z, its range is all real numbers. B3. Z. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. 
A captain. X. Is correct. One number. Bonus math short answer. Giving your answer in simplest form, find the sum from n equals 1 to n equals 2011 of e to the open paren n pi i divided by 2 close paren. Five seconds. One. I'm sorry, it's negative one. Toss up 23s in physics and it is multiple choice. Which of the following is not true about shunt motors? W. They run at almost a constant speed regardless of the load. X. Traction motors used to drive trains are examples of shunt motors. Y. They provide starting torque that varies with the applied load. Z. The coils in the shunt field are composed of many turns of small wire. A captain. Why? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. B3. X. Is correct. Your bones in physics is short answer. By name or number, identify which of the following five materials has the highest electrical conductivity. One, cadmium. Two, iridium. Three, lead. Four, silver. Or five, gold. Silver. That is correct. Toss up 24 is in biology, short answer. What is the name for the dark granular bodies that form the reticular substance in the cytoplasm of neurons? A captain. Soma. So that is incorrect. B2. Glycogen granules. No, I'm sorry, they are the nesyl bodies. And the last question is in chemistry toss up multiple choice. The molar mass of oxygen is 16 grams. The molar mass of nitrogen is 14 grams. The molar mass of carbon is 12 grams. And the molar mass of hydrogen is one gram. Which of the following compounds is 33% nitrogen by mass? W, ammonia. X, urea. Y, uric acid. Z, urease. A1. Why? Is correct. And your bonus question is visual in chemistry, short answer. Answer the following three questions about the image. Based on the cell in the image, determine the overall net ionic reaction between zinc and copper. B. What will happen to the masses of the anode and cathode respectively as the reaction proceeds? C. If the total surface area of each electrode is decreased by one half, what will happen to the voltage produced by the cell? Right. Zinc solid plus Cu2 plus aqueous becomes zinc 2 plus aqueous plus Cu solid. For B, it's anode decreases, cathode increases, and C, nothing. That is correct. <laughs> and that is the end of the match. Final score, Mira Loma 64, Montgomery Blair 40. Let's have a round of applause for Mira Loma, our 2011 High School Math and Science Bowl champions. And Montgomery Blair, our 2011 National Science School High School runners up. Well done. Thank you very much. At this point, we'll have a brief break while we set up the stage for the award ceremony.